All right, pop quiz. Am I standing in front of a ship or an airplane? Okay, obviously it's a ship. But what if I told you that ships and airplanes have way more in common than you think? From red and green lights to black boxes and even emergency protocols, maritime and aviation are basically cousins that just can't agree on whether water or air is the superior way to travel. Today, we're breaking it all down. Ever wonder why both planes and ships have red and green lights? No, it's not Christmas spirit, it's a life-saving navigation rule. If you see a green light, the ship or plane is moving from right to left. If you see a red light, well good luck because that means they have the right of way. It's basically the nautical and aviation version of you move, buddy. Fun fact, the black box on planes and ships isn't even black. It's orange. Because apparently search teams prefer not to play hide and seek when things go wrong. Both aviation and maritime require data recorders that track everything. Speed, direction, and even the pilot or captain's last words before things went sideways. Hopefully it's not something embarrassing like, oops. When things go south, whether you're 30,000 feet in the air or 3,000 feet deep in the ocean, you use the same emergency call, mayday. It comes from the French phrase mater meaning, help me, because apparently panicking in multiple languages is a universal skill. Planes have air traffic control. Ships have vessel traffic services. Both follow a strict right-of-way system to avoid mid-air or mid-ocean traffic jams. Ships, big ships must stay on course while smaller boats move aside. Planes, lower altitude aircraft have the right-of-way when landing. Basically it's the same logic as driving, except instead of honking, ships just blast a foghorn loud enough to wake up the entire ocean. Ever noticed how ships and airplanes both have life jackets and rafts? Well here's the kicker, on a ship it makes sense. But on a plane? Why are we planning for a water landing? Either way, in both industries the rule is the same. Put on your own life jacket first before helping others. Because self-preservation is apparently an international safety law. So, are ships and airplanes basically the same? Absolutely. Except for the minor details of, you know, one floating on water and the other defying gravity. Maritime winds, you get more legroom and can bring unlimited luggage. Aviation winds, you get there faster and don't have to worry about sea monsters. What do you think, team ship or team plane? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this, hit that like button, subscribe for more weird transportation facts, and I'll see you next time. Ever been on both a ship and a plane? Which experience do you prefer? What's the weirdest safety rule you've ever heard on a cruise or a flight?